I couldn't help but shout, WOW! There were so many impressive angles of the super heavy catch attempt, but the one I was waiting for most, the onboard view, finally appeared. And it revealed some fascinating details. It looks like B12 may be ready for the next steps. Meanwhile, Falcon Heavy successfully completed the Europa Clipper mission, setting important milestones and breaking records along the way. This mission paved the way for SpaceX to reach its 100th launch soon after. October has been incredible, hasn't it? So let's dive into all of this in today's episode of Great SpaceX. Super Heavy B-12 is currently resting stably on the orbital launch mount after what Elon Musk described as a difficult journey. But that challenge made history, so let's rewind and see it from a different perspective. SpaceX recently released an onboard flight view on X, providing a stunning top-down angle. It gives us a clear view of the vast area surrounding the launch site, but naturally the main focus is on Super Heavy's systems. In this view, we can clearly see the grid fins working hard to steer the booster, an essential factor in helping B-12 move precisely into the middle of the chopsticks for the catch. We also witnessed the moment the landing burn engines activated, marked by a notable flame. Initially large, the flame reduces in size as the middle ring engines cycle on and off during the burn. From the bottom up view, we can see the center engines of B-12 performing effectively. Beyond providing the necessary force to slow down, these gimbal engines continuously adjust their direction, guiding B-12 along a precise path. SpaceX commented, the final phase of Super Heavy's landing burn used the three center Raptor engines to precisely steer into catch position. However, what really caught my attention was that one side of the booster, specifically near the ship QD or quick disconnect area, seemed to burn more intensely. From other angles, we can also observe that while the fire wasn't large, it burned quite fiercely. Comparing the live stream with post-flight images, the shine on the ship QD side appears slightly damaged, likely from the fire during landing. Fortunately, the damage is minimal and can be easily repaired. In the onboard footage, we also get a clear slow motion view of the moment when Super Heavy connects with the chopsticks, allowing us to closely observe this incredible feat. It's a perfect combination, timed down to the second. The way the chopsticks close is highly proactive, and after closing, the lifting point touches the landing rail, then lowers the booster. This step raised a lot of concerns before the flight, but after seeing how smoothly it worked, I have great confidence in the success of future missions. Musk even affirmed, good chance that Starship achieves full stack reusability in 2025, which is the critical breakthrough needed to make life multiplanetary. And that's how the difficult journey of Super Heavy B-12 ended. The more data SpaceX releases, the more fascinating insights we gain from witnessing Mechazilla's catch of Super Heavy. It's no exaggeration to call it one of the most greatest aerospace feats of the first half of this decade. Incredible! Musk himself said it is such an honor to work with the incredible SpaceX team. I really appreciate this statement from Elon. If you agree, Type in incredible in the comment section down below to honor the SpaceX team for their monumental effort. Don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to our channel to continue following SpaceX's journey. After this great landing, there's still a lot of work ahead for B-12 and the SpaceX team. On the morning of October 14th, Texas time, one day after the launch and catching attempt, the booster transport stand was moved to the launch site, signaling the upcoming movement of B-12. By noon, the flight termination system, or FTS for short, was removed from the booster, preparing it for the next steps. Additionally, a brief road closure schedule was announced from 12 noon to 3 p.m. on October 15th and from 12 midnight to 3 in the morning on October 16th. This likely signals B-12's transport to the production site where it will undergo thorough inspections, including checks on the shine and engines, and then refurbishment. Based on the current situation, I think B-12 may be reflown. The prototypes for the next flight have already been determined, S-31 and B-13, as well as S-32 and B-14. 
if B-12 flies again, which ship do you think it'll be paired with? S-20, S-26, or perhaps a V-2 prototype? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Regardless of what happens next, SpaceX has taken the first step toward full reusability. Both the booster and ship will need further upgrades to achieve that goal, but the success of Flight 5 lays the foundation for more frequent flights. I expect we'll see another launch before the year ends. Let's wait and see. Now, let's dive into updates on the Falcon Heavy mission. On October 14th at 12.06 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time, a Falcon Heavy launched from LC-39A at the Kennedy Space Center, carrying NASA's Europa Clipper spacecraft. Due to the unique demands of this mission, all three Falcon Heavy boosters were expendable, unlike most previous flights where the side boosters were recovered for reuse. After the upper stage completed its second burn, placing the spacecraft on an Earth escape trajectory, the Europa Clipper successfully separated from the stage with a little over an hour after liftoff. Minutes later, the spacecraft made contact with ground controllers, relaying telemetry that confirmed it was in excellent condition. The Europa Clipper mission is one of NASA's most expensive science missions, with a projected total life cycle cost of 5.2 billion US dollars. That includes four years of operations after it arrives at Jupiter in 2030. The mission aims to explore the ice-covered water on Jupiter's moon Europa, potentially expanding the boundaries of human knowledge and exploration. Musk commented on this mission, saying, Europa has the highest chance of life in our solar system because of the thick, protective shell of ice that covers its ocean. If even simple bacterial life is discovered on Europa, this will be the most significant planetary mission ever, Musk added. Despite development challenges, including issues with transistors, the Europa Clipper team managed to stay on schedule. With the reliable support of Falcon Heavy, the mission launch was a success. However, even with all three booster cores expended, Falcon Heavy couldn't send Europa Clipper directly to Jupiter. Instead, the spacecraft will make a flyby of Mars in early 2025 and another of Earth in late 2026, finally arriving at Jupiter in April of 2030. This mission has earned much praise, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson remarked, Today we embark on a new journey across the solar system in search of the ingredients for life within Jupiter's icy moon. Our next chapter in space exploration has begun. Musk also expressed his pride, stating, One of our most important launches ever. Super glad it went well. This launch marked Falcon Heavy's second mission of the year and its 11th overall. While not as prolific as last year, it still demonstrates a solid year for SpaceX. After delays caused by storms and an FAA investigation, this success represents a strong comeback for Falcon Heavy. But what's more significant, this was SpaceX's 99th mission of 2024, breaking their previous record of 98 last year. This milestone reinforces SpaceX's continued dominance in the space industry, with two and a half months remaining in the year to extend this new record. While Falcon Heavy may not launch again this year, Falcon 9 and possibly Starship will continue to lead SpaceX's growing orbital fleet. SpaceX is undoubtedly shaping the future of space exploration. Let's see what incredible achievements lie ahead. On the path of unprecedented success, we must highlight SpaceX's 100th mission of the year, a remarkable milestone. At the time of creating this video, the mission has not launched yet, but by the time you're watching, it may have already soared to success. This mission is carried out by Falcon 9, launching from SLC-40 in Florida, sending 23 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. The booster for this launch, B-1080, is on its 11th mission. This seasoned booster has a rich history, having launched the Axiom-2 and 3 missions, 2 Cargo Dragon missions, and the Euclid Telescope for the European Space Agency. After delivering its payload, B-1080 is planning to land on the A Shortfall of Gravitas drone ship. If successful, this will mark the 81st landing on that particular drone ship and the 353rd booster landing in SpaceX history. 
This mission is particularly significant as it represents the 95th Falcon 9 launch of the year, further extending SpaceX's record for the most launches within a calendar year. When combined with two Falcon Heavy missions and three Starship missions, this launch will officially bring SpaceX to an astounding 100 launches in 2024, a feat that no other organization has ever achieved, and one that SpaceX narrowly missed last year. The significance of these milestones cannot be overstated. It's truly remarkable that SpaceX has accomplished so many groundbreaking achievements in just the past few days alone. With the rest of the year still ahead, we can anticipate even more records being set. I'm already planning to create a year-end video to summarize SpaceX's extraordinary accomplishments in 2024. If you're on board with this idea, go ahead and say, okay, Kevin, in the comments down below. This has been an exhilarating journey, and the future promises to be just as exciting. And that is guaranteed. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.